Hey guys, I just want to show you what I've been working on. Uh, I just finished up this uh, Raspberry Pi Octoprint um, deal. This is the case I decided to go with. Uh, it's got this little movable camera. I got a touch screen for it as well, but it's not really going to work out with the way I want to set it up. So I started off with uh, a Belkin N150 Wi-Fi adapter, and it worked, but I didn't really like the range I had, so I ended up going with one of my old routers. I reprogrammed the firmware on it, so it's a repeater of my main internet Wi-Fi, and also uh, gives me a pretty good range for broadcasting what my Octoprint is recording or doing. So I can stick that out in the shop and still be able to be in my house and monitor everything going on with the Octoprint. Uh, this is the firmware that I have. DD wrt.com. You can go and download new firmware for your your Wi-Fi routers. That's what I've been doing for a while. It's handy to have a repeater. This is the um, camera mount that I've been using for my phone, and uh, that's how I've been making my videos. Uh, I just put some white Velcro, like heavy duty Velcro, on that, and then the face of the the Pi. So now I can use the Pi as my as my camera. Uh, and I'll be doing the the photo lapse here after I show you everything with Octoprint. So this is Octoprint, the the web interface, and uh, you know there's no wires attached between my computer and, and the Pi right now. It's all over the Wi-Fi router. This is where you you can uh, set your temperature and monitor it, and this is a um, control where you can see the camera feed and move your your bot around. So there you can see it's whatever kind of latency it has. Um, and then you have your just normal terminal. And then this is where you can do your time-lapse configuration. So the settings are off, uh, z-axis change, and then time. I have mine set for six seconds. I haven't really played around, around with it all that much. But you'll get to see that video here in a little bit. Uh, then it stores all the, the videos you've done down here at the bottom. You can download them or delete them or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to go back here, I'm going to turn on the temperature to the printer. It's nice to be able to monitor everything from a distance. You can do it on your phone, anything that has a browser. It's pretty handy. I know there's probably some other videos out about it. But I just want to give you guys my experience. So now I've got my, my uh, Pi all set up, hooked up to a chair to view the printer bot. It's got really terrible, uh, the, the Pi camera has really terrible, like there's no zoom, you know, you have to like place it far enough away to where it's going to uh, focus on whatever you're printing. There you go, you can see I'm, I'm moving around, uh, operating the printer bot through the, the Octopi to print user face and uh, over here to your left this is where you can upload videos um, you hover over the, the file and it'll tell you all the information about it print time all that and you gotta load the file and then you can start your print and the time lapse goes off of when you start your print and pause and cancel your print so now it's just doing its own thing. It's all temperature, starting as print, and uh, I could just take my computer away right now if I wanted to. Which is really nice because the annoying thing about not having like Octoprint on is uh, it's so noisy. So if you want to do any work on your computer, it just pisses you off. So this is a VNC server that uh, I have hooked up in the Octoprint. Or, I'm sorry, the, the Raspberry Pi. So I can control my Raspberry Pi through this VNC server uh, on my normal computer. It's really handy, so when you're doing all your setup and loading all your um, programs, um, a lot easier to to use instead of having like hooked up to your TV and another keyboard and stuff like that. But it's resource intensive, so I try not to use it um, really at all, except for setting stuff up. You can also do SSH. 
I don't do putty if you're using windows. Anyways, showing you have no no cords hooked up. Um, and it's doing its own thing. It's pretty cool. So I'll hit the pause button here. And like with these big steps in the very beginning, it's not going to pause right away. But the pause is a lot more responsive. Once you're doing, you know, in, you know, midway through your print, you're doing more uh, detailed stuff. And you can see in the video, it still hasn't paused yet, um, but there's a lot of lag right now. I think it's just try trying to process that pause command. So there, it's finally pause, and then I'll, I'll kill it. And then I will show you guys the full time lapse video. It's pretty cool. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to comment if you guys like the video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm totally you know open to helping anybody out who wants to do the same thing. Alright, enjoy the time lapse. Bye.